pioneering force in the self-help field long before that genre even had a name. Dr. June Hall reached millions of readers through her syndicated advice column and was one of only a handful of African Americans to ever have that privilege. She sat down with Spectrum Bay News 9 reporter Dave Jordan. He joins us now with a special Black History Month story. Laughter before you go to bed. When people make history, they don't realize it at the time, and when they look back, they're taken by surprise at what they've done and the impact they've left. Case in point, Dr. June Hall, who broke ground as one of the first black advice columnists in the country. I was actually very surprised, uh, and I think my editors were too. Surprised because the landscape for advice columnists was already dominated by twin sisters, Ann Landers and Abigail Van Buren, known to millions as Dear Abby. Hall had just graduated with a master's degree in mental health counseling and was working as a temp at the Sun Sentinel newspaper. She approached the managing editor with her goal of being an advice columnist. And I had people write samples of questions and I answered them and I sent them in and they liked it and that's how I got my start. She was an immediate hit. The column so successful, it quickly went into syndication within just a few years. I really like to be able to help people, so that was really an exciting time for me. At the height of her success, Hall's down-home, straight-talking messages could be seen in nearly 100 newspapers nationwide. I am from Florida, and it was mostly the northern states, actually, that picked up the column. The column, just an extension of what Hall has been doing her whole life. From the time she was a little girl, friends and family often came to her for counsel, insight, and solutions to help them with their problems. And I was like that. I would just say, you know, here's what the deal is, you know, just go to it. And that's what she did. Her syndicated column paved the way for one of her self-help books, which landed her on national talk shows. Please welcome the author. Here's the book. It's called No More Pity Parties, A Guide to Celebrating Your Way Through Life. June Hall is with us. Thank you so much for being here. Exposing out. Hall to a new platform, broadcasting, but doling out that same straight talk and counsel. After Billy and Susan and her boyfriend, you know, I think there's something else going on with Billy rather than him just hating Susan's boyfriend, and he needs to work with that. And but like all good things, Hall's advice column came to an end after 12 years. Today, she is focusing on workshops and webinars as part of her Accentuate Positive Thinking, or APT, initiative. While the days of the syndicated advice column have long passed, the self-help area is alive, thriving, and diverse. A point of fact not lost on Hall. People need people that they can relate to, when, that they see, that looks like them. Hall is currently working on her third book and plans to branch out into corporate counseling and female empowerment. Not bad for this trailblazing woman from small town Florida whose plain spoken advice left an impact on millions of lives. I'm excited that I've done the things that I've done. I can say that I would love to do more, but I am pleased what, with what I have been able to do. <laughs> In Tampa, Dave Jordan, Spectrum, Bay News 9. <laughs>